So today we're looking at this gaming mouse, the Red Dragon Ranger. Now Red Dragon is known for updating their products over time, uh, kind of like evolving, especially when it comes to their gaming mouses. Like the North Azor evolved into the Griffin, the Impact to the Prediction, the Mammoth to the Sniper, and you all get the idea. Okay. And I'm curious for this mouse because the Ranger is the evolved version to the Pegasus, a mouse I've been using for years until this very day, and still it works brilliantly. So guys, I'm gonna compare these side by side and find out, has the Ranger Ranger evolved properly from the Pegasus. The Ranger comes into a box like this, it's not really that impressive and there's not a lot of stuff included except an instruction manual and a sticker. Bored. Looking at these two, you can see insane similarities. The height and body style are both symmetrical design. They have the same front RGB exposure, the same rubberized coating on top to provide grip, an identical scroll wheel and even an identical bottom. bottom. <laughs> now let's see where it could have been evolved in the specs. The Pegasus has got six programmable buttons where the Ranger has got nine, which includes a triple click fire button on the side, and with the Pegasus having only one button on top to change the DPI levels, the Ranger has a DPI up and down button plus an RGB button to separately change the light effects without changing the DPI levels. Where the Pegasus, you have to change the light effects only via software, making the Ranger a proper RGB mouse. Wow. Both the Pegasus and the Ranger have 5 DPI levels to program and adjust. However, the Pegasus can reach only up to 7200 DPI, whereas the Ranger can reach an insane 12400 DPI. What? This is because the Ranger actually has got a built-in P3327 high gaming sensor for better precision. The Pegasus can save up to 3 memory modes on the mouse, while the Ranger can save up to 5. Both these mouses are basically the same size, but in weight, the Ranger is a bit lighter. Both mouses has 1000Hz pawning rate, and they both have gold-plated USB connectors with 1.8 meter long braided cables. Now, when it comes to price, these are both seen as budget gaming mouses. The Pegasus though, even you might find it at one or two little separate shops, but in the general market, it's no longer available to buy. But its price went around between 250 Rand to 355 Rand, which works around 15 to 20 US dollars. Which is what made the Pegasus so fantastic. It had all these features and it was affordable. The Ranger though will be a little bit more expensive because of the economy currently. So you can try and get one for around 385 Rand to over 400 Rand in online shops. That works around 24 US dollars. But I've seen some stores try to take advantage of it by trying to sell it to you for over 600 Rand, which is about 35 US dollars. So before you buy, just see if you can get a better deal. There is a wireless version of this mouse available, you guys. It is called the M910KS or the Ranger Lite, this one. What's cool with the Ranger Lite is that you can either use it as a wired mouse or as a wireless mouse. If you want to use it as wired, you just connect a USB Type-C cable onto it, which also charges the battery. Or if you want to go wireless, you just connect its 2.4 GHz dongle into the computer or the laptop. It's called the Ranger Lite, guys, not only because it's wireless, but in comparison with the wired Ranger that can go up to 12,400 DPI, the wireless one can only go to 8,000 DPI because it doesn't have a gaming sensor like the wired Ranger. The prices for the Ranger Lite does go for around 420 to 450 Rand in some places I've seen before, that is about 27 to 30 US dollars. But guys, be careful because gaming wireless mouses do intend to go for even higher the price than what they're worth. So some places will do try to sell it for 600, 700 Rand, which is about 35 to 40 US dollars. But between the two guys, I'm sticking with this one. Now in the dark, the Ranger does present the RGB lighting beautifully from all sides and the top. But I cannot help to see that the Pegasus does an all round better lighting exposure. So imagine the Pegasus having today's RGB lighting built in. How awesome will this look in the dark? <laughs> yeah, boy. You can download the software via the link in the description below and the mouse model is M910 RGB. The software looks basically the same as what most other Red Dragon software look, except the mouse picture changes and some functions either are added or removed depending on the mouse, but it's still overall not bad. The functions are split in three tabs, but with the fourth tab being the info just to explain the mouse model and website link. Further on, it has no other use. You get your general tab to change the functions of the buttons, including the functions of the scroll wheel and macro keys via the macro manager. You can also adjust the acceleration, the pointer speed, the scroll speed, the double click speed, and the polling rate. The DPI tab allows you to change the DPI levels on the stages from as low as 200 to the full 12400. You can even disable some of the stages if you're not using all of them, so therefore your DPI levels can be maximum up to 5 changes, but let's say you want to choose for example only 3. Now, a little bit on the downside though, this is an RGB mouse, but it still has got the basic light effects, such as breathing, 
rainbow, full lighted, wave, go without trace, reactive, flash, or you can turn the lights off completely. All the effects has their own options of colors, brightness, and effect speeds to set up. Once applied your settings, you can save it in one of the five profiles. If you have multiple profiles saved, then you can use the mode button at the bottom of the mouse to easily switch profiles between them so your settings can change as you either are gaming or using the mouse for work, instead of going through the software and make the changes there all the time. Yeah, baby! Finding the pros and cons in this mouse, guys, I did expect not much when it comes to the body design of it on how it feels and how it holds. Because it is the same similar design as the Pegasus, it would feel exactly the same, it would hold the same. It's also easy to program via the software, so I didn't have any problems by that. But as I did stream, guys, and I used this mouse and to play the games, I did notice a few things of the mouse. The Pegasus does provide a nicer side view compared with the Ranger, with the gaps exposing the light and the plastic leather looking pattern, giving the mouse a more premium look. Whereas the Ranger only has these plastic ridges on both sides, making the mouse look a bit cheap. But after a while, I did notice on while I was playing games, how the mouse starts to slide out of my hand, sort of to slip as the size doesn't really provide that much grip. It's almost like I had to hold the mouse even tighter just to be able to use it for just normal gameplay. While with the Ranger, these ridges actually help to provide even more grip, so I didn't have to hold the mouse that tightly, and also I had no problem of the mouse slipping out of my hand once. So Red Dragon took away looks to provide a better physical function. I like it. Me too! <laughs> and then moving to the sensors. When playing a fast-paced game, the Pegasus does perform well, but with the Ranger, it did feel different. Using Warzone, for example, when changing direction, moving camera angles as I'm running or engaging an enemy, it just felt the gameplay to be a bit more smoother and better feedback response from the mouse. But I believe it has to do with that P3327 sensor installed to help pick up even tinier and finer changes on the surface when using the mouse to provide more precise movements on the game. Especially if you like sniping in the game, like me. Well done, rubbish. So what do I really think of the Ranger? Personally, I think it's a fantastic budget gaming mouse. It is comfortable to hold. It performed great without any problems. The speed from the DPI, the smoothness and precision from that sensor, the modern RGB look, the grip it provides, the easy installation of the software. I honestly think, guys, that the Ranger is the perfect evolve and upgrade from the Pegasus. What I think Red Dragon did, you guys, was they took the Pegasus and said, Right, people love the Pegasus. Are you in love? I am in love. Are you in love? I'm in love too. I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. It's a great mouse, but now let's focus on the weaknesses. What makes the mouse not that good? Let's take away those weaknesses, let's take away the dated specs, and let's bring the mouse into the now to provide an even better gaming experience and still make it affordable for the people. Well done, Red Dragon. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you next time.